Hey, you guys. So. I have on clothes, girl. We're now at the end of August. It is getting very busy around these streets. We met with our really, let me turn the air down some. JB, I'm on the, oh, no, I almost said on the phone. Met with the real estate agent um, yesterday, and we are going to officially put the house up for sale in two weeks. <sighs> Sorry, you guys. So, um, yeah, so we have next week, they have one weekend to really clear stuff off. My husband is off, so we're gonna really do a, a focus on decluttering. Honey, I'm gonna I'm gonna assign him <coughs> assign him several rooms to declutter. And for the staging of the house, well, for taking pictures is okay. We move stuff around, she takes a picture, move stuff around, takes a picture. But one of the things we're gonna have to do for the open house, of course, we can't be here, so I want it to be look. The housing market is so crazy right now. And those of you who have been selling or into, stop it JB, selling or buying your house, you know how it is. So I'm gonna go to the storage unit and take out with me to the storage unit. I'm gonna take out some of the bigger photos and put those back up, but the collages and all that taken down. But Jack, I'm gonna see what it looks like when I stage. Well, what I was trying to say, the housing market is uh, totally off the chain. Sit back JB. The housing market is to where my husband thought we had to have the house deep cleaned. We don't have to do that. She's like, uh, no, just a nice clean. She said, nowadays, people will take it however, but we are gonna hire a cleaner, just do a my regular cleaner, do a regular clean, no deep cleaning. And then, like I said, <clears throat> stage it to where it looks like it's livable. All right, taking this and thank you, sweet pea. This is a beautiful picture, but that has to go into the storage. Can't be like on like that. Huh? Can't. It may have to do, can you see it? Yeah, it may have to do that. All right. This storage unit creeps me out, you guys. Don't go down there. So this is, uh, we're gonna be able to put my guest bedroom in here, or our guest bedroom in here. We don't have a, a lot, so I'm gonna get some of these pictures. Here, you can film some, but you can't do a lot, baby, because see, it's already blinking. Hello, you guys. So we are in the middle of packing. We have exactly um, 10 days till we move into the apartment. Got a lot to do today. We have two weekends, which is good. I took off, we're, we're moving Labor Day week. I took off a couple of days that week. And um, yeah, I'm gonna start packing up this guest bedroom, which is basically my woman cave, mama cave. Um, and so, I think the biggest challenge is trying to determine how much stuff we really need to put in the storage and what could what could go into the apartment. I'm thinking most of this is gonna have to go into the storage. A lot of JP stuff gonna have to go into storage. And then yeah, so let's get going. <laughs> girl i don't know where my thing is at y'all it is what it is baby we are a few days in this i've been packing off and on for two weeks but you know what the movers are scheduled to come in five days i need to slow down like i had it in my head oh my god i gotta get all this house get the house ready get it get it together to get everything moved out but technically we have a good month until uh, it's even sold. So as long as we get the big furniture and stuff, the movers out, I can take my time getting the rest of these little dishes and even my personal stuff, you know what I mean? But my goal is to have it all moved out within two weeks, but I slowed down because I'm like, okay, I don't have to rush. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm starting to watch um, America Horror Story season 10. 
I don't know what the hell are these things. I don't know if they're vampires, sea creatures, girl. I don't know what the theme is this year, but it's weird as hell. <clears throat> anyway, y'all. So we found a place to put JP in school. I am super, super excited. When I tell you everything happens for a reason, baby, everything happens for a reason, but it's a lot. And you know what? I think we have to, I'm gonna stop saying, when people ask me how I'm doing, I'm, I'm gonna really stop saying, oh, I'm busy, I'm doing this and doing this. Because I think that, especially as moms too, and as busy working, moms, even if you're not a mom, I think oftentimes we glamorize being busy and um, having a lot to do. That's not cool. That is not cool. We need time to rest. Hey, look, even God rested. He rested on the seventh day, right? So we got to find time to rest and recharge. Um, and there's, there's, it's, that's actually helpful. So I'm going to take the time. I'm going to kick it out the ball today as far as packing, but I'm going to rest tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday because I literally had it on my to-do list to do something every day. But tomorrow, I'm not doing... If I do something, it'll be, be very small, like putting jewelry in a jewelry box. Small. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to rest because I've been putting it in. But, um, yeah, the movers are coming next week. And then the day after that, the cleaners are coming. And then two days after that, that's gonna be photography, you know, for professional photos time. But as long as I said, like I said, as long as all the big stuff is out of the way, we're good. Yeah, I'm all over the place. So I don't even know if I said it. We found a school for JB. And like I said, you know, everything happens for a reason, glory to God. So I had, was on Facebook and I'm in a lot of different Facebook groups. And so I'm in a, uh, a particular group called Black Moms. I think it's a Black Moms Forum. And it was started by a woman out here. And I forgot I was even in the group. I saw a, um, a, a ad or something, not necessarily an ad. I saw a posting from mid-August about their schools. And I was like, I forgot all about that. So when COVID first hit, the founder of this organization said, you know what, it's time that we start um, creating schools and a safe place for our children, meaning black children, children of color, to feel comfortable. So, it, you know, at that time, I'm, I had already had my mindset. We were already homeschooling, so whatever. So I looked at it again, and I noticed that they're getting more and more people in. They're getting resources. They apparently have collaborated with Pregna, which I've heard of Pregna before. Prenda, sorry, Prenda, P-R-E-N-D-A. There's a lot of wishy-washy stuff that was going on about Prenda because <clears throat> I think a lot of people were a little bit, uh, they speculated whether or not it's a real school and actually they get funding they get if you can get funding that means funding that means that you are a certified you, you're teaching standardized curriculum which they are <clears throat> excuse me y'all so anyway this sister who's an older woman she's an older black woman she's an advocate even she goes to a lot of the board meetings and all of that because like a lot of big cities phoenix I think Phoenix even more so than some places. A lot of people of color are moving here, but Phoenix still has a problem with um, racial issues, especially if you move into areas that is predominantly white, like my area. I told y'all, JV was the only black boy in in most of his um, grades, and, and forget class, in the grade, he was the only black boy in first grade. That's a problem. So he even told me, you know, a couple of months ago, he said, I don't have any black friends. That's a problem. I, I'm seriously, it is, that's a problem. And I think that would be a problem if any race that you are, but it, but especially in this day and age, being a, a black boy, okay? So anyway, he got into this school. I spoke with the director herself. She let me know how they're getting, getting additional funding. The micro school is inside of a school, which is cool. And so they can use their resources. The classes are small. Um, they do K through second as one class and they put the third, the three, the eight graders in another classroom and like 10, 15 kids. Yeah, so they're 
and, and they're filling up really fast. So the coordinator called me a couple of days ago. She's like, well, which location are you thinking about? I'm like, wait a minute, y'all got several locations? Wow, that's amazing. Um, Cause when I, like I said last year, they were just thinking about starting. And she's like, oh yeah, we have several locations now and we, we are, um, more than likely the way that things are going, they have multiple locations they will be opening. So anyway, hey, 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 you guys, do things look a little different? Yes, we have officially moved into our temporary short-term lease apartment. <sighs> Girl, I'm not gonna complain because God is good and everything happens for a reason. I'm just gonna give y'all a quick overview of the apartment. Mind you, we had to squeeze almost 2,000 square foot of a house into a 1,100 square foot apartment and a storage. So, I'm gonna show y'all what everything looks like. So, this is the kitchen. Um, really nice, huh? Very modern look. Personally, this is not something I would typically, this is not really my style, but it's beautiful. A uh, really big island here. This island is bigger than our <laughs> island. In our um, in our house, <clears throat> and so yeah, everything is here. Black stainless steel appliances. This is where we had to put our sectional. As you can see, we don't have a dining room table in here. There's no way it would fit. So this is the living room. This leads to the bedroom. I'm not gonna go in there. My husband is asleep. That's why my voice is low. So yeah, I work over there in that corner. I put the office stuff in there, and then in here we have the washer and dryer I'm not gonna really go in there actually let me go ahead and close this door girl washer and dryer is in here back here we have jb's bedroom this is bigger than his room so i had to put some extra furniture in here um yeah i put a lot of my clothes in his bedroom excuse me his bedroom closet this is the bathroom again this is a bigger bathroom i do find that apartments have bigger bathrooms than houses depending on the square footage yeah, this is a good size bathroom, really nice countertops. And again, we have, I put a lot of my stuff in here, a lot of my beauty stuff in here. So girl, let me turn this camera around. Girl, if you got an, uh, if your husband gets on your nerves, like, let me, let me adjust this and sit down on JB's bed. Hold on y'all. So look y'all, I'm one of those weird, weird random people. Look at my skin, girl, yes. But I'm one of those weird random people that knows absolutely uh, factual statistics that really don't mean it, that, you know, most people would know. But one of the things I do know that moving, <clears throat> there's certain life events that are extremely stressful. Moving, having a baby, get married or one of the top three most stressful. Actually, moving can be so stressful. There have been couples that have broken up over a big move, over a move, and we're moving twice. We're gonna to try to move twice within six months. Sit down, baby. Sit down. Lay down, this your boo-boo. I know he's tired. JB's been tired, dealing with everything. JB. Oh, they here. Girl, let me go in here. So quick front down. They can still hear, but that's okay. Quick rundown. We moved out of the house. God, what was it? Tuesday. Okay. We moved out of the house on Tuesday, right? Movers came at 945. Tell me why. It took them nine hours. $800. And the mover... It was an older, it's two guys. One guy was from Brooklyn. They're both black. One guy was from Brooklyn. The older one is originally from Sudan and he's probably, he's probably pushing 60. <clears throat> so he's old and tired. He couldn't really. So the younger guy pulled me to a side a couple of times and he was like, this shouldn't take us this long, ma'am. This shouldn't, because he was a younger guy. He said, this shit, we could have been done by two o'clock. We didn't get done until seven. Matter of fact, my husband and I were getting frustrated because the older guy kept coming up to my husband and was like, can you take this apart? And my husband's like, what are we paying you for? Y'all, my husband is a, typically a very cool, collected person, but at one point, he snapped at the guy. <laughs> when they moved stuff into the apartment, he snapped at him when he kept asking to come over. 
And so I told her, I said, honey, don't be mean to him. Don't, don't be mean. You know, it's, it's stressful, but don't, don't get, girl. So that happened in the middle of moving. They tried to get that big old massage chair, which me being a woman, having a little bit idea of how things are visually, my husband thought that we could fit almost everything in this apartment except the third bedroom right so in his head okay put the third bedroom meaning my room and the office and storage i was like but you have that big massage chair we have a huge dining room table and a sectional then they're gonna fit in in, in this apartment but he don't want to listen to me so guess what happened yes the dining room table the the um bedroom stuff had to go into storage and guess what's stuck in the house still because no one can get the damn thing out. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. The massage chair. So now the drama is we had to push back the house cleaning, basically everything to put the house on the market, but back, push back the photos because the massage chair is stuck at the front door. <laughs> it's not funny, but it is because you don't want to listen to me. 150 pound massage chair. So right now I'm trying to find someone well, we're trying to find someone to move this massage chair. On top of that, JB starts school. Hey man, on Monday, this micro school, he's just going nine to two, baby. Chuck, <laughs> you want to throw Princess, you throw Princess Peach down? And they're all on my back. But yeah, that's what's been going on. And so look at me, y'all, I'm shining. Um, girl, I don't know what it is too, because typically I don't, get a lot of men hitting on me which is good because i ain't got time for it but baby when i tell you i'm kind of keeping low because my husband's door right there when i tell you lately like almost every day your daddy's trying to talk to <laughs> Girl. almost every day I don't know if it's the beads. I don't know if these. So one of you said it was on my Instagram. One of you said it was my shoulders. Like I've had to tell a couple I'm married. Like, cause I don't wear my wedding ring because I, I just don't. Unless we're going out somewhere, I don't really wear it. And yeah, girl, I'm like no. But you know what's so funny? See, in Texas, it's totally different. I would get it a lot, but I hear because there's not a lot of black men, not that much. But lately, since more of us been moving out here. <laughs> are you guys this is what the house is looking like ciao this stuff is going to storage i have no idea what i did with my baby stuff so i came here to see if i if i could figure out where it's at there's no. <clears throat> everything's completely gone Look, I'm so OCD, I keep sweeping the floors knowing that a house cleaner is coming. We gotta get this down. Yeah, everything's pretty empty. So I'm gonna try to look for this child's stuff and I'll talk to y'all in a bit. All right, you guys, we are officially in the, ho in the house, in the apartment. The house is up for sale. We're gonna do a mini interview with JB. Hey, JB. Hi. Hi. They haven't seen you in a while. Boo -boo, do I need to pack your glasses for you just in case? Yeah. Okay. I couldn't really see there. You couldn't really see? No. Okay, mommy would pack your glasses. Poor baby. Oh, so, it's still popped. So, JB started a new micro school today. How was it, JB? Good. Good. So, what was some one thing that you really liked about it? Um, one thing I really like a lot is the science project. The science project. So you guys, it's a little far, but no problem. 30 minutes up there, straight shot. That's not, not a problem. Um, hold on, baby. Anyway, so he's talking to his little friend. So um, first time having black teachers, the first time that he had black boys in his classroom. So. He said it was just nine kids in there. Um, and you know, y'all, like I said, everything happens for a reason. I, reason, I honest to God think that. When we got there, I can tell no, someone, I, I can tell when someone's from, I'm pretty good at knowing who's from where just by looking at them. And I noticed there was someone from Ethiopia there, a teacher. And I was like, hi, Salam, how are you? Um, 
And so I introduced myself. I told her, you know, Jabasa. She's like, Jabasa? And so she's like, I said, yeah, my husband's from Ethiopia. She's like, I am too. I'm a Roma. I said, so, so is he. So is JB. So JB greeted her and the language and they were impressed by that. So y'all, I'm so excited. My heart is overjoyed. We put the house on, on the market already. We already got people coming over today. So yeah, that is it for this vlog, you guys. Take care, bye. bye.